highest paid actors in Hollywood Part 2, starting with Jason Momoa. Uh, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, $15 million. It's a shame that he got kicked out the DCEU. But apparently, James Gunn has repurposed him in another role, so we'll have to see what that looks like. I like him. I think he's a good actor. Is he Aquaman? He might not be the best Aquaman, but he damn sure ain't a bad one. Uh, Denzel Washington, obviously one of the greatest actors ever. Love that he's brought back Dakota Fanning in this film. I always thought that Man on Fire is an underrated movie. Plus, I love that he continues his relationship with Anton Fuqua. And what a payout for someone who's been in the game for like ever. Joaquin Phoenix, $20 million. Apparently he only made $4 million playing the Joker in the first film, but this is a hefty increase in pay. And it is the only DCEU Oscar winner, so I mean, it's well deserved. Tom Hardy in Venom 2. Like it or hate it, I think people forget that Venom 2 almost made half a billion dollars. Like it or not, he is the face of the Sonyverse. I mean, if you count Tom Holland, but yeah. Vin Diesel and Fast X, when are they going to stop making these movies? I'm tired. Justin Lin don't quit. I say let it rest, man. I stopped watching the Fast movies after Fast 5, but some of y'all love them, so I'm not going to judge y'all. Chris Hemsworth for Extraction 2. I think this is great for him. I love the Russo brothers. I actually really enjoyed what they had to offer. I love me some good action, and I will deride the fuck out of any MCU actor. Of course, Will Ferrell, Ryan Reynolds, uh, Spirited, $20 million each. Yeah, two top dollar funny dudes. One's Deadpool, one is Buddy the Elf. One's a former SNL cast member. The other resurrected Hugh Jackman as the Wolverine. Dwayne Johnson at 22.5 million plus. Hate him or love him. Uh, Black Adam is a great film. If you were on acid. I just feel like he needs a role where he can just be himself. If he does go to the MCU or something else, I'm absolutely okay with it. Like, I can see him playing the Juggernaut or Vandal Savage in the DCEU. I just feel like he would have fit a little bit better if the actor was Egyptian. Anyways, we'll talk about The Rock later. Let's stop hating on The Rock. Let's talk about Brad Pitt. Directed by the Top Gun director, the $30 million Formula One movie is going to get Brad Pitt some extra cash. After the box office bomb of Babylon, looks like Brad Pitt is going to take matters into his own hand and get behind the wheel. I'm not going to lie, I love me a good racing story. Plus, this is right up Joseph Kaczynski's lane. Either way, he's getting paid whether the movie's trash or not. Leonardo DiCaprio, 30 million. And it's Leo, bro. It's great Gatsby. It's very hard to compete with Martin Scorsese's films. So I'm not surprised that the $30 million price is what he would pay. If you're throwing in Robert De Niro, this movie's doing numbers. Who knows, he might make more than that. 35 million to play a slave is crazy, but Will Smith, I'm gonna ride for you. The slap happened, it's over. Mistake shouldn't end a career. And then of course, number one, 100 million for Top Gun, which is crazy because his base pay was 13 million, but it's Top Gun, y'all.